Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here, bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Uh, we have a couple things planned for today. Um, a lot of you guys were uh, explaining, or not really explaining, but... Um, what's it called? I can't even talk right now. I'm, I'm kind of sick at the moment, as you can tell. So I have, I have a little stuffy nose, so excuse my sniffles. But today, we are going to show you guys how to read the uh, slash F map on. And it's basically what me and Insanity use for our uh, raiding. So, like, when we're running around the overworld, we have F map on and we read that in order to... Um, basically, in order to find bases and to find claimed land. And it's the easiest way to find a raid, basically. It's the easiest way to find claimed land that's like from a faction and all you have to do is try to get lucky and find a basically find the the factions that are strong on whatever server you're playing on all right so before before i do that i'm gonna introduce this uh blaze spawner that i made um, i was actually going to make a video of this but i actually thought that it would be too long trying to explain everything so instead of explaining how to make the blaze spawner I'm just going to show you what the product is, and then um, I'll, I'll link you guys to the exact video that I followed uh, to make this grinder. But basically, this grinder is just amazing, and uh, I I did my own modifications to it. I'm not going to tell you exactly what I did, but you'll see you'll see the main modifications that make it so that it's amazing. But hold on, let, let's use up these uh, levels real quick. Hold on, I need a. I need a crafting table. So I'll show you just the how how efficient or or how good yeah, our um. We have what, Matthew? Left to the right. What? What the heck? Behind you, These die if they get butchered, Matthew. Yeah, they do. But anyway, so I'm gonna enchant this pickaxe real quick so I get my levels yeah, down. Well, why would you do that? You should have asked me. Oh, this isn't Matthew. This isn't leech level thirty. I'll, I'll get some more books. I'll use our enchanting table downstairs. But yeah, we did a couple more renovations to our base. As you can see, we have this beautiful floor outline that um, I found yesterday, and uh, I put it on, and it looks amazing. So I think we're gonna keep that because I just like it. Unbreaking three silk touch one. Not too bad. Let's put that in the chest. Um, let's see. All right, so I'll show you guys how efficient the blaze spawner is. So right now, all right, so we are going to show you the blaze spawner real quick. So how it works is you hit the collect button, and these pistons uh, open up and let the blaze down. And then the crush button is it pushes all of them down into a confined space and basically makes them one hit. So um, I'm going to go up here real quickly. So this is our modified blaze spawner. I think I have uh, one, two, three, four. Like I have like eight or ten blaze spawners in here, and we'll actually stand here for like two or three minutes just to let them spawn in, and we'll show you how many levels we get. But yeah, so today's episode we're gonna be showing you guys how to use that F map on, and uh, the next episode we'll probably plan on doing a quick raid for you guys. Um, a lot of people don't know how to use the F map on. It's really simple to use, and once you learn how to use it, it you can literally be having a raid like almost every day, and it's really simple. But yeah, this um this blaze spawner, I'm gonna link you. Uh, I'm gonna link you guys in the description on how to make this. But I'm not gonna. It's not really gonna show you how to make the this uh, modified one that I did. So because I modified this one because. My brother and I found so many blaze spawners, like him and Venom237, like one of our faction allies. They literally just like went throughout the entire nether and just took as many blaze spawners as they could. But, so yeah, see, they, they basically spawn and then they fall down because they're not aggressive. And then the, the pistons, like if they get to the side, the pistons like push them towards the middle and they get funneled into that bottom section that we were recording. Alright, so we were standing here for maybe like a minute. So let's just go down. Uh, let me get my looting sword out. Looting. And then all you gotta do is, um, oh, look at that, that looks amazing. You click the crush button, and they solo get crushed. Some of them do die because uh, the, the pistons upstairs like suffocate them. 
but that's no big deal. It's no, it doesn't make a big difference. So, all right, so they're done being crushed, and now you basically just kill. So I was level 22 to start, and it was uh, w like basically waited up there for a minute, minute and a half, and let's see what level I get to. Thirty. There's level thirty. That's eight levels so far. And this is re also a really, really good money maker. Uh, if you guys are wondering how I got the signs to the left, the cell signs, um, if you guys are playing on the Faction Green server, you just just message me and I can make you guys your personal s signs at your shop. So there's no big deal about that. Okay, so I got from level 36 or 22 to level 36, and then now I can just sell these blaze rods. extras in here all right yeah so that's our efficient blaze spawner guys um i'll make sure to link you guys in the description on how to make one of those it's it's the, it's basically the ethos blaze grinder i just uh modified it to our own personal use and um after that i guess we'll show you guys how to use the 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 options for the options for the F map on so you guys can find raids. Uh, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. And um, basically I'm right outside of Warp Wild. Or not Warp Wild, slash spawn. And uh, there's a there's a base faction Blue Nation that we that I found real quickly. So this is I'm basically going to explain to you guys how to read the F map on. So when you have, uh, you type slash F map on. And it turns on the map of basically all the chunks that are around you. So you have on your top left corner right here where you see my, my mouse, you have northeast, southwest. And uh, the one that's colored red is the direction you're currently facing. So since the, the east one was red here, that means that if I kept walking, my mark would slowly keep moving to the right, which is the east way, to the right this way along those marks. And then... Um, that basically helps you if you click F3 um, on the top left you you see how it says east because that's the direction on the top left where it says X Y Z F and then it says east right there that means I'm heading in the east direction so I'm still looking east and if I turn around you can see it switches to south west and then north all right so um let's 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 keep that up just to keep that in mind all right so if we look at the map right now it just it updates every time you move a couple of blocks if you look at the map right now, so if I'm looking for this Blue Nation faction group right here, Blue Nation, so he's west of me, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 12 chunks away. So basically I have to, right now I'm facing south, if you look at the top left corner, I'm facing south, so since that faction is west, I need to turn my, change my direction west, so here's west. And all I have to do is basically walk towards that faction, or walk towards that F map uh, symbol of that faction. So, as you can see, I'm heading west, and I'm getting closer and closer to that faction because I'm heading to the direction of the F map, and that is basically how me and Insanity find raids. It is a very simple tool to use to find claimed land. So. I mean, claimed land does have its advantages. It also has its disadvantages. It's very easy for people to find your faction if they know how to utilize this tool. And uh, now you guys know how to use this. So basically, um, if you find my faction, I challenge you guys, come try to raid me. I don't mind. Uh, me and Insanity always enjoy the challenge. So as you can see, I am actually in the Blue Nation land now. So this is not theirs. It's not claimed. But if I move over to... This land, this is theirs, and if I try to break it, oh, I think I have F5 pass on because I was helping people. So if I try to break it, basically, I can't break it because this is their ter territory. So you guys know which which uh, factions on your specific server are the best. You know which ones are the strongest. So what you're gonna want to do is usually those those factions have bases that are way out like all the way like 5,000 like 10,000 blocks out of spawn so you guys are going to want to travel all the way to out of spawn and put f map on while you're traveling and then look like try to look for those bases with the strong factions 
Uh, that's basically all you have to do for uh, finding raids. It's the, that's the, the method that I use. It's the method that Insanity uses. And um, we've been pretty successful with it. All the all the past raids that we've done so far have been using by using that method. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, let's see. What else What else could I show you guys today? Matthew, what else do you want to do? Um, the fishing thing. The, which one? The oh, the fishing. All right. So let's go F home. Turn F map off so it doesn't update. All right, so uh, Insanity built the MCMMO fishing grinder as well, and basically what it does is it it, it fishes. And um, if you do, if I do uh, stats slash stats, my fishing level is one of the highest because fishing is just a really really overpowered skill. So I'll show you I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, let me. Oh, I'm in, I think I'm in Vanish. Am I in Vanish? No, I'm not. Alright, it's just lagging. The server's been lagging the past couple days, guys. As we said, it's because of people reloading chunks and um, all of that jizz jazz. So, no big deal. Just wait a little bit. We'll, we'll be sure to fix the problem soon enough. Uh, let's fill my inventory with fish. I need one fishing rod. Matt, did you have a redstone torch? All right, I need a redstone. So basically, how it works is, you stand in this room, right here, and you basically just fish and throw out your fishing rod, and it basically it basically just gives you levels. And my my brother designed a redstone mechanism in the back, which is this. I I don't think you need to turn it on, Matthew. I'll just use one fishing rod to show them. But what you need to use is this and or this uh dispenser back here there's a like a redstone dispenser it basically just throws out fishing rods so the second you finish your fishing rod it is um it gives you another one so i'll show you guys an example i'll sit here and fish for maybe like a minute or so and then we'll look at what stuff we get so yes you do get fish you get a lot of levels once you have um a higher fishing level so i was just level 37 and by the end of this fishing rod i'll probably be like level 39 or something but the main uh, portion or the main points of doing fishing, it might be a little boring, but you can AFK it by some methods. Um, it might be a little boring, but you know, you can uh, watch your favorite TV show while you're fishing and it just uh, gives you a chance to do stuff. So on the bottom left corner, you notice that sometimes it says slash or it says treasure found. And that basically means um, I fished something that was like either an item or a... What's it called? An item, an item, or a piece of armor, or maybe some diamonds. It's it really all just depends. So let's see, I already got level 40, and I'm only using one fishing rod. 41 actually. So we'll finish up this fishing rod real quickly, and then we'll take a look downstairs in the looting room, and we'll see what we got. So there's one fishing rod, and basically the fishing room. It, our base is a little compact right now, as we don't want too much claim to land as it's a lot easier to find us using that F map method. But if I go to the looting room over here, we're slowly mining our base out and it look I think I like it. I like all this brick. Uh, so what you see here is basically what I got from those three fishing rods. So I got some diamond, nothing nothing too good, but usually you can get stuff with a lot of enchants the longer you fish. The longer you fish for, basically, the longer or the easier it is to get all those um, the good enchantments. So what I do is I throw away all the iron and all the music discs. It, it does come with some junk sometimes, but you know it's no big deal. So I, t I pick up all this, and this is this is my method of making god apples and getting diamond armor. So in um, in MCMO another. Another feature is in slash stats you have the repair skill which is on the top right and you also have the is that just it Matthew? Yeah, you just have the repair skill. And basically what it does is you get the ingot of whatever you're going to repair. So say if I'm repairing an iron pickaxe, I need some iron ingots. And if I'm repairing this golden chest plate, I need some golden ingots. So let me grab some iron ingots in here real quick. And then let me, five diamonds should be fine for right now. So what you do is you, once you reach level 600 repair, you basically can repair all your armor to full. Like it uses up the ingots, as you can see, like the numbers are going down. But then what you do is you place down a golden block, 
and then you use the items on that golden block and it basically just showers the the items that you used to make that specific item so as you can see like you can see the iron bars just flying out the gold the diamonds just flying out and this is the method like the fishing is really 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 worth it especially if you can uh, get to the higher levels because you fish a lot faster and you get all these good items um, so let's see let's put these so I'm just showing you guys a, a quick um, repair so it's really easy to repair what why is it lagging so bad it's really really easy to repair stuff you just basically left cl or right click on all of these items why is it doing that drop my sword guys I'm sorry and then just watch it rain look at look at the gold ingots look at all those so this is the main method that we use what was that flying arrow what the heck this is the main method that we use on MCMMO to get god apples and we basically just fish overnight or fish for a couple couple minutes look at insanity just creeping on us but yeah that's about it uh that's for today's episode um i'll be making sure to link you guys to ethos's blaze spawner in the description below um i hope you guys learned something with the f map on um find some bases to raid and upload a video and tag me in it and i'll be make sure i'll make sure to like it and uh, comment on it as well uh yeah that's that's it for today's video uh thanks you guys for watching Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Um, that's about it for today. Do you have anything else that we need to show, Matthew? And I think that's it, guys. All right. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you guys later.